Hello, I'm Nalaja. Today, we're going to read and think about a book called Fun Food to Make and Eat. While we read the book, I will make the book pages bigger so you can see the photographs more easily, but you'll still be able to hear my voice. As we read together today, when you see a new page of the book, I will pause so you can scan the photographs and notice the text features on each page. As you listen to me read the book, notice what you're thinking about the information you find in the words, photographs, and other text features. You may even decide you want to make some of the foods in the book. Here we go. The title of this nonfiction book is called Fun Food to Make and Eat. It is written by Carrie Shanahan. The photographer is Michael Curtin. This book has five recipes that are fun to make using healthy food. Recipes are a kind of procedural text. A procedural text tells you how to make or do something. A recipe tells the ingredients you need and the steps to follow to make the food. This part of the book is called the contents page. It shows a list of what's in the book. In this book, the contents page tells us what recipes are in the book and can help us find the recipe we want quickly. As I read, you will see a box appear around the part of the book I'm reading, like this. Contents. After I finish reading the section, the box will disappear. Introduction. Pizza face. Apple boat. Bread person. Cheese House, Tasty Rocket, Index of Ingredients. This book has so many recipes, I'm going to read it over two videos. In this video, I will read the first two recipes in the book, Pizza Face and Apple Boat. In the second video, I will read the rest of the recipes. This part of the book is called the introduction. An introduction tells us what the book will be about. Introduction. This book has recipes that are fun to make. The foods in these recipes will help you stay active and healthy. See this chef's hat symbol? This chef's hat means an adult needs to help you. This symbol means you should ask an adult to help so you stay safe. What do you think you might need an adult to help with? Hmm. Let's watch for the symbol of the chef's hat as we read the recipes to see when you need an adult's help to stay safe. This first recipe is called Pizza Face. Scan these pages. What do you notice? Did you notice this part of the book called You Will Need? These are the ingredients we need. Ingredients are the different foods or spices you need to make a recipe. You will need one pita bread, one tablespoon of tomato sauce, one cup of grated cheese, one cup of deli ham, one slice of pineapple, one cherry tomato, 
one mushroom. Did you notice this part called what to do? These are the steps we need to follow to make a pizza face. Did you notice the numbers beside each direction? Those are also helpful. They show us the order of the steps to follow, don't they? Let's read the steps. What to do. One, spread tomato sauce over the pita bread. Two, sprinkle grated cheese over the tomato sauce. Three, cut the tomato down the middle. Put it on the pizza to make the eyes on the pizza face. Did you notice the chef's hat symbol? What do you think an adult would help with? You're right, an adult should use the knife to cut the tomatoes. This helps keep children safe while they cook. The recipe continues on the next two pages, doesn't it? We can see steps four to eight here. Four, put the deli ham on the pizza to make it look like hair. Five, cut the mushroom into a triangle. Six, put the mushroom on the pizza face to make it look like a nose. Seven, cut the pineapple so that it looks like a smiley mouth. Put it on the pizza. Eight, cook it in a hot oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Did you notice the chef's hat symbol? Which steps should an adult help with? In steps five and seven, an adult would help by cutting with the knife. And in step eight, an adult would help by taking the hot pan out of the oven. This helps keep children safe. There is one more part on this recipe called, try this. Try this. Use a rice cake and add grated carrot hair, a lettuce mouth, and olive eyes. Sometimes a recipe will give you other ideas so you can make the recipe a different way. The next recipe is called Apple Bolt. Scan these pages. What do you notice? This recipe has a part called You Will Need, just like the pizza face recipe. Here are the ingredients we need. You will need one slice of watermelon, one apple, one toothpick. Here is what to do. Let's read the steps we need to follow to make an apple boat. What to do. One, cut the apple down the middle. Two, put a toothpick in the middle of the apple. Three, cut a triangle shape out of the watermelon. Four, put the watermelon triangle on the toothpick to make a sail. Did you notice the chef's hat symbol for any steps? Which steps do you think an adult would help with? You're right. When you cut with a knife, 
Have an adult help you so you stay safe. Back on page 10, there was a try this section. Let's go back and read this section. Try this. Make a boat out of an orange and give it a pineapple sail. There's another way to make a boat using fruit. We will stop reading here for today. If you'd like to revisit these recipes again, just start the video over. See what you notice when you read it again that you didn't notice the first time we read the story. You may even try making some of the fun and healthy recipes we read today. In our next video, we will read the rest of the recipes in the book. Thanks for reading and thinking with me.